When Intel reported last week, the forecast was downbeat. And their commentary about the PCN, the data center, was so grim that the stock plummeted from 57 to 52 overnight. Now, if you took your cue from Intel, and many did, you had to believe the semiconductor business was facing some serious headwinds, including the data center, which had been red hot. But I told you there might be another explanation, that maybe Intel was simply losing market share to its competitors like AMD. Sure enough, when Advanced Micro Devices reported last night, they told a very different story. The company delivered a solid top and bottom line beat. Their guidance for the next quarter was pretty much in line. And the conference call was incredibly bullish, especially about the data center. It, it wasn't enough to send the stock higher. It lost 82 cents after being up more than a dollar. But then again, AMD was already up dramatically since the beginning of the year. So could this thing have more upside? Let's check in with Dr. Lisa Su, the visionary president and CEO of Advanced Micro Devices, to learn more about the quarter and where her company is headed. Dr. Sue, welcome back to Mad Money. Lisa. This day last year, your stock was at 11. It's gone up 16 points. Why? Jim, you know, it's been a great year. It's really been, you know, a great few years. And, you know, for us, it's all about products. And, you know, we have um, large markets. You know, we're in the PC business, the gaming business, and the data center business. These are great markets. And uh, we have been a share gain story. So we're all about our products and, and gaining market share. This has been a uh, tumultuous time for some semiconductor companies. And what a lot of people cheer was that you held your outlook steady. Why is that good in this environment? Well, look, um, you know, semiconductors is a very exciting place. You do see things go up and down. But from our standpoint, you know, it's really about building a long-term plan. And when we started 2019, um, 2019 is a huge year for us. If you look at our product cycles, uh, we are, you know, launching new products in all of our markets. And so we said, hey, this is, this is a revenue growth year for us. You know, starting out um, at a, you know, a, a lower point in the first quarter, but, you know, building up over the next couple of quarters. And we still see... Uh, you know, tremendous excitement around our products. And well, so from that standpoint, that's where we're focused. I want to quote a, uh, a piece in a Wired magazine which said that PlayStation's next generation, everyone knows PlayStation, next generation console ticks all those boxes, starting with AMD's chip at the heart of the device. Why does it help to check boxes if they've got an AMD chip at the heart of the device? Well, we are um, so honored and proud to be part of Sony's next generation PlayStation. You know, this has been a really long term partnership with them. Um, we love gaming. You know, we think gaming is a, uh, a really good secular growth market. And um, what we can do, you know, what we have done with Sony is really architect something, you know, for their application, for their special sauce. And so, uh, you know, it's a great, uh, great honor for us. We're really excited about what um, uh, what the next generation PlayStation will do and happy to be a part of it. Well, you're a little modestly because you also do that for Amazon Web Services. Uh, you also do it for Apple uh, and you do it for Google Cloud. So these are all your partners now and they weren't your partners, weren't AMD's partners even a half dozen years ago. You know, you're absolutely right, Jim. You know, our focus is really on, you know, partnering with, you know, the best in the industry. And our, our view is that our technology, you know, with the customer's application can really uh, drive, you know, substantial technology as well as uh, revenue growth. And so, you know, for example, with Amazon, we're working very closely with them on their data center. Um, they've launched um, a number of new instances with us um, in the data center. And, you know, we believe that cloud is a great market for us. Uh, we're very happy when Google announced uh, their uh, cloud gaming solution, um, you know, here in March. Um, again, it's one of those things where we've worked for the last several years to really build a, uh, you know, tremendous partnership. Now, last year, uh, your stock had some ups and downs. When it was really down at 18, you came on the other show. And you said, look, it's a continuum. It's a multi-year move. Don't look at this one snapshot. That's exactly how it played out, didn't it? Jim, I am a huge believer in the journey. You know, the journey is, uh, you know, you put together in our business, you put together roadmaps that sometimes take three or five years to play out. So, you know, we're making large bets. Um, we're really looking at, you know, wh where's the market going? Wh you know, where are we best in technology? And yes, it's a long term play that, you know, has some short term um, things as well. But uh, we're very much focused on the journey. All right. Long time competitor in your 50 years. Congratulations. Long time competitor. Uh, Intel announced that the recently that they saw some weakness, particularly in some of the areas that 
I own data center, but personal computer. And they did indicate for a lot of people that maybe things had slowed, particularly in the data center. But when I look at your numbers, it just seems like business as usual. Is that true? Well, first, thank you for um, the, the 50th anniversary comment. Today is our 50th anniversary as a company, and we're proud of that. Um, look, when, you know, when we look at the data center, I mean, it's a good market. Okay. It's a very good market. I mean, if you think about it, you know, people um, have much more data. We need much more compute. We need to analyze all of that. And we see it as a, as a growth market for us. Now, um, you know, there are some you know, short-term um, you know, pockets of inventory right. that people talk about. But our story is really about share gains. And um, you know, middle of this year, we're coming out with um, our next generation Epic processor. We call it Rome. Um, and it doubles the performance per socket. So you know, it's a significant inflection point in technology. And, and that's what keeps us you know, really excited about the prospects. All right, so the idea that the data center conceivably could actually have a major decline doesn't sound right. It could be a pause, but you still believe in the long-term growth. You wouldn't be adding all these different iterations. I, I absolutely believe in the long-term growth. You know, there may be some short-term dynamics, but um, at the end of the day, uh, with, you know, all of the data that's out there and all of the compute needs, um, it is a great market, and it really appreciates great technology. And so, you know, that's where we differentiate ourselves, right. really focused on, you know, sort of high-performance computing. Now, I know there are a lot of professionals who watch the show, and the, the people who Home gamers may not understand this, but we're going to try to get it right. The gross margin for semiconductor is often so important. And the late great Andy Grove once barked at me that I said, well, why, why is this obsession with being 63% margin, 62% gross margin? You have 41% uh, is your outlook. Can you ever get to those margins that, the, that Andy Grove from Intel <laughs> thought are so important to profitability? Well, look, I, I totally believe in margin growth as well. You know, and, and as I said, this is a journey. Right. You know, we grew margin five points year on year um, in the first quarter. You know, that's a pretty good move. And so the way we look at it is um, as our products get more and more adoption, we mm. will grow our margins. And our long-term target is, you know, 40 to 44 percent. I think we're making good progress towards that. And more importantly, um, as our products get adopted, you know, I think we have just a, a broader, you know, business base overall. And, and it is important to point out revenues down, gross margin up is highly unusual. That's a great combination when you think of it, if revenues are going to come back. And you've admitted there's a pause, but things could be in the second half strong. We, we definitely believe that there is a, um, a strong opportunity to grow. And then, you know, as you look at our products, as the new products come out, um, particularly in, you know, PCs with our Ryzen product line, um, in data center with, um, with our uh, Epic product line, and then uh, we have a new gaming chip coming out as well. And those are all scheduled for the middle of this year. So, uh, you know, we're excited about those. Uh, one last thing. Uh, when I first met you, I know that... Um at that point, my dog was named NVIDIA, and I had always <laughs> worshipped Intel. I was an Intel hawk, and you told me, Jim, we are in the conversation, and we're going to stay in the conversation. So uh, I'm proud of you for telling me that, and you certainly changed my mind. Uh, next three, five years, just going to continue to grow the company? Jim, we are so excited about what we have in store. I mean, I, I look at this, and I say, look, the last... Um, you know, three or four years, we've really been, you know, focused on our products. That's how we're here in 2019. 2019 is going to be a big year for us. You know, we view it as, you know, a, a, um, a significant product cycle. And as we go, you know, three to five years forward, we have a lot of things in the hopper. We're working on many, many products. And so, you know, for, for our engineers, it's all about high-performance computing and putting the best out there. Well, terrific. I want to congratulate you again, 50 years, and all the great things that you've done, including that remarkable run since you've come in. That's Dr. Lisa Sue, president and CEO of AMD, which I think is a very inexpensive stock. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.